What's going on guys, Tavoy's Champion Plays here, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. We are here with episode 23, where we left off. Um, we pretty much chilled for pretty much most of the episode. We hung out with Ryuji, Mishima on a little bit. You know, just doing the usual, just chilling, since Madarame confessed during the last episode. And we come to find out that Kawakami has a side job. She's literally a big titty milf. I mean, I'm <coughs> big titty man. I mean, <coughs> Excuse my language. She is a maid. Yeah, you heard me right. Same thing as last episode. We're just pretty much chilling with our confidants and everything. Nothing too special going on at the moment. I think I might go to Mementos in this episode, but I'm not sure. We're about to get into this episode to get you guys to cool it down with that. Everybody sit back, relax, get ready. Cause he re -gives. Basically, I thought I recorded for 25 or 30 minutes. I wasn't recording all the time. <laughs> um, basically, to speed things up a little, um, we find out that the principal is basically sending Makoto on his wild goose chase, and Yuji got forgot his summer clothes, and he ran into Kasumi, walked her home, and all that. It was a very fun experience because people were making fun of her being a model student, even though I think she's a great she's a great girl. So, which I 100% can understand. I wouldn't like special treatment either but now we're in kijijoji trying to find this guy who's been apparently trying to fight everybody i guess but yeah i forgot to mention we did get another request from mishima we got and there's a girl that has been bullying other dudes but for right now we're just trying to identify the elderly man that's been stirring up trouble in kijijoji uh anything else for us to do i don't think so yeah i kind of feel stupid that i haven't recorded this entire time so also i have company over oh what good is it's my boy maruki and my phone just dropped it's like it's raining if you're feeling down it's probably the weather's fault my research is going smoothly i surprised how well it's been going thanks for the discussion actually i hope you can help me out again today i feel like my bond with maruki will grow stronger yes sir yes i'm gonna help him up with his research okay. yep i'm happy to hear that I us talk in the courtyard. I've been stuck in the nervous office for, for the longest time. I don't want to change the pace. Well, I just found out how scary cats can be despite their cuteness. Uh, where is this coming from? So, it happened on my way to school this morning. I spawned a kitten and I has gotten the stuff stuck in the tree. I tried rescuing it because I felt bad for it and I ended up Getting the clawing of a lifetime for the effort. I had no idea that cat's claws were that sharp. I know, right? <laughs> Speaking from experience, uh, it really does hurt a lot. But I was able to rescue the kitten and it was all worthwhile. All I really had to do is make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well. Alright, let's move on and talk about a different kind of pain. Uh, pain. We discussed this for a bit for last time we talked, the pain fell within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illness. But in, when it comes to pain of the heart, we're working into unknown territory. There's so much we haven't learned yet. Treating the trauma, sure, is difficult when it's invincible. If only if we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way, like putting antibiotics like on a scratch. Hmm, that would be great to be honest. Right, it was something so like that would be wonderful. Controller! As fortunate as it may be, you know, we all know typical Mexican can properly heal a heartache. Not only psychological issues are even more complex. Allow me to touch straight. Oh, Mathers, woe is me. Uh, my heart is such a pain. It feels like I'm being pierced through the chest. I have a torturous burning deep inside me. Uh,. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, are you okay? Sorry, that was a poor attempt of acting. <laughs> Please don't look at me like that. Like, are you good, my nigga? Like, are you actually good? Uh, basically, what I'm getting at is our own emotional pain is like our only kind of we can fully comprehend. That seems obvious, right? And absolutely vital to understand. A prince's heart is their pain cannot be seen. Even if they stand their whole lives expressing it to others, there's no way of for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can we can look at each other's hearts and remove the root of the cause of the pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the how, how the heart reacts to the world around it. And this is the first stepping stone to the breakthrough in the field. Once I've got figured that out, 
will not only comprehend phys psychological pain, <laughs> psychological pain, was they unknowable. <laughs> I can't fucking speak. But we'll be more able to perform more effective treatments for those people with a wounded heart. That sounds like a grand plan. It's nothing. Just get rid of people's pains if, if we did that for the best, right? I I'm no fan of pain myself. Well, uh... On the other hand, people laugh at my ideas, just seeing the important in this dream. But I can't say I blame them. But still, you have to take time to listen while I've actually understand it. You try to understand. Hey, thanks to you, I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I can make it... Make make it that this hazy, hard to grasp an idea finally appear before me. You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. They like to try to be my assistant. I know I'm a shortening budget, but I, so I wouldn't be able to pay you. So I'm not the free labor type, you know. And you, you, if you go, uh, although I could offer you snacks instead of money. <laughs> Just kidding. Or are you? Where's my snacks, brother? Chokes aside, I'm grateful for your sister, Simpsons. Okay. I says a great gratitude from Maruki. And rank. Man, we're already rank four with this dude? Holy. All right. But we get nothing from that, but hey, I'll take it. Let's pen that in for today, shall we? I hope it'll let your ear again once I have a spare time. Now... You've been waiting for this. Let's so wait. Let's get to mental training. Nice to met. Yeah, my, my melody feels right. better. Stronger, and I get five SP. All right, not a bad time for a snack. A hoppy pop. Of course, thanks for the snacks, man. Even though I need more, but yo, do you have a moment? Today got pretty one-sided. I was just kept end up <laughs> rambling, and this keeps happening. I should have asked sooner, but is this leaving you any mental fatigue? Has your schoolwork affected? Nah, bruv, I feel completely fine. Huh, really? Thank goodness. I was worried. Not every guy wants a middle aged, real, the rambling to them, a bunch of philosophical abstracts. Philosophical. Uh, I, I can't. Why can I not speak? I know it is a lot asking, but it'll be great if you, if you could keep, uh, what, uh, the station? Uh, sorry, I think a tourist needs his help. I gotta go. Hold on. Should you choose case? Uh, you, wait, you got no money? What? Okay. Let me see Mark Keys is trying to save the world. All right, we got the gang. You haven't heard anything from the student Castle president, haven't you? Oh, Miss Honor student? Must be busy kissing ass somewhere. Damn, you don't have to be so harsh. Uh, what is about a student council president? Uh, the ones at our high school has kind of been keeping tabs on us. I think she's suspicious of us. She said, Are you merely sure about a result of Ryuji's general misconduct? Shut up! <laughs> To be honest, the three of you mostly certainly stand out. Try to be careful. I cannot be there to overlook your, you at school, you know. That duty rests on your broad shoulders, Marshall. Don't worry, we got this. I'll make sure to keep an eye on Ryuji too. Well, you gotta single me out. The others kind of overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget, you're famous too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? Mm-hmm. Even though. Sergio is literally in front of us! And he keeps texting me. Hey, inmate! Hey, inmate, we need to talk to you. Get over here now. How did you get my number, Caroline? <laughs> How did you get my number? <laughs> How did you get my number? Caroline, there's not a sufficient explanation. How did y'all get my number, bro? Inmate, come to the entrance of the velvet room before we change our minds. That's a door we can only see in your world. So you better not go to the wrong place. Bang. We'll be waiting for you. We expect great haste and enthusiasm from you. Oh my fuck. Hey, who you were talking to? That sounded really noisy. Are you being summoned somewhere? You should probably get going. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Although, they're gonna have to wait, because I'm going to K Kijigoji first. And they're right there anyway. Oh, target you haven't identified, right? Let's go to Harmony 
alley and gather some info on that old man. All right, so we go down here and we ask around about that tough guy. Hold on, hold on, wait. Oh, that old man has a, that old man hasn't come here yet. <laughs> no wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bath mouthing my customers, but man, he is so much trouble. Huh, an old man making trouble? They're talking about that guy, elderly man that's causing trouble in Shishiki Joji. Hey, they seen no place for a young end like you. Are you looking for something around here? Uh, the con artist? Oh boy, even kids like you know about him. That man is out of control. He takes drinks from strangers and starts fights. Whenever he gets in trouble, he causes a ruckus and tries to smoosh money off of people. What creepy is more the trouble he gets, the rider his smile gets. Got a name? Oh yeah, the old man is always shouting his name over and over. Hiruji Uno, right? Yep, that's the name. Okay. Alright, we got the name of our target. But hey, you know, I can't be that hard on him. He's around my dad's age. But when he when he complains of his joints are hurting on rainy days, I can't help but just feel sorry about the old man. I wish to not hang around here either. But he stay w warm with his family instead. He might be awfully sympathetic, but you know, I know you really think he's a pain in the ass. No, I'm not denying that. His joints hurts on the rainy days? Poor guy. Alright, I think that's the info we got needed. Let's talk about the, about the hideout. And, yep. And that shit. That should be our fourth request. Yes, it is. Now, we can go to the Velvet Twins. And thanks for patiently waiting for me. So you come in, mate. You're late. Next time, we expect you in front of us within two seconds of our calling. Well, I don't care. Well, we got some new duties lined up for you. But I call them special assignments. To the point, there are numbers of places in your reality society we may foster your rehabilitation. You will prove to the value of these places to us in person. Listen up, inmate. We will select various locations that we suspect could be vital, vital to your reality. You should recognize a place that we should mention that you will escort us there. So you, you're you trying to get out of here, basically. Are you those years of yours for just declaration? These special assignments are for the sake of your rehabilitations. Just work hard at them and you'll do the rest of your duties. We wait in front of you of the door like this whenever a special assignment is available. You should meet our expectations. We'll scrape together some, some of the ward. No slack it off! Oh, we ought to mention, these special environments will be not available indefinitely. To phrase it, for your comprehension, we will have to end, we ha you have the end of the year to complete them. So, you also require to c continue working towards your rehabilitation to earn these assignments. We're really going our way for you here, so don't tell us we didn't do anything special for you. I mean, I didn't ask, ratio. This concludes our explanation. Now we'll introduce our very first special assignment. Are you prepared? Okay. Very well. Then listen closely. The first location we have chosen is what's the grown to quite a population lately. It's pop if a poor to offer foods and stimulates the feeling of being in the space. The food is apparently massive, a rival the size of the universe itself and resembles this Mysterious spacecraft. You, you talking about Bert, Big uh, Big Bang Burger? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Big Bang Burger. Well, if you know what it is, escort us there immediately. Yep, Big Bang Burger in Shibuya. What will you do? Well, it should be. I mean, Big Bang Burger. Oh. Big Bang Burger. The name is fitting, I suppose. Guide me, inmate. We shall confirm our intels ourselves. Lead the way. <clears throat> well, indeed, it's a shape. She like the mysterious craft. It's a bit smaller than I expected to have. It is this meal boasted with immense cosmos. I'm quite disappointed. Hey, inmate, you didn't really expect. You don't really expect some award out of this, do you? It's the Big Bang Challenge. 
Oh yeah, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so humanity is intended to generate its own universes now, does it? You've got guts. <laughs> we, we had enough of your smart remarks. Know your place then, mate. Uh, it's my world. Oh, so they can get that large. Uh, the Big Bang Challenge. What an intriguing concept. But you say you're really take really attention. You are you are to take this challenge. Of course. You will take the largest they offer. What the fuck? Any objections, there, mate? I'm not high ranked enough. Oh uh, yes, I did overhear the challenge requires investment through the numbers of previous stages. I don't care. I don't care. You're taking the challenges one way or another. Get on your knees. You have to beg. Might as well give it a shot. Fucking Caroline. Thank you for rating. <laughs> don't tell me. You really doing this? Well, you basically said no balls, pussy. I'm doing it. <laughs> but you, not only, not only that, but you're our ten thousand customer. To show our appreciation. We're treating you with the highest tier of the Big Burger Challenge, the Cosmic Tower Burger. Wow. Wow. Lucky you. Well then, it's time to get 30 minutes to big, big Burger. Big 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 Bang Burger Challenge started. Begin! Oh, the last burger is right down. It's a nigga comparison. It's bigger than. In the inmate's stomach. Oh god! It perhaps the monkey it implies that the, any diner's stomach will suffer. It. Oh, I can't speak. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be easy. <sighs> so you claim. So you claim there's an actual chance of victory. Huh. At least we'll see how that positively lasts. I predict, I predict this challenge should be fairly a difficult one. Be yeah, that as it may seem, you sh must finish the food tower entirely. Failing to join the play club would be a great offense. Okay. Do you think this is a great idea? Even at more crimester record, get to it, inmate. Huh, not a bad start. You only just begun. I'm already full. God. <laughs> uh, you're stopping? And the dusted! You're really. You're stopping? Hey, who said you can stop it? No breaks. Work that jaw. But indigestion. God damn it. Oh, my stomach's gonna burst. I gotta take a fat shit. <laughs> uh, don't look. Don't you like what other dead to you? This glimpsing of the vast of emptiness of outer space. Hey, uh, is he really all right though? He's not really cute over this, is he? I don't think I'm finished. I, I, uh, indigestion. Uh, I think he's about to pass out. Constant, constant patient. It appears there's truly too much for him to handle. All right, let us pinch in. You're hopeless, eh, mate. <laughs> you better be careful we're bailing you out of this. Uh, 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 I, I gotta take a fat shit. I'm, I'm, phew, you did it! I have to say that, you really held your own there. You almost didn't make it through, so but we call this a success since so your stomach didn't burst. Yeah, I didn't shit in, in, I didn't shit in this entire restaurant. I must say, I'm rather dissatisfied at this place. You called it monkey or Big Bang Burger. There is certainly a craft of a meal, impressive size, but when it compared to the Big Bang generated, it's not granted at in the least. The humans actually have some sort of compulsion of exaggeration to the size of things. I mean, if it works that way, I guess. Good question. In fact, this challenge raises questions of a few of, a few of them. You take the challenge for the sake of your rehabilitation, but who in their right mind will be willing to consume this much food? Maybe I don't understand humanity at all. It made why humans are always testing and pushing their limits. 
because they are humans. How preposterous. The simple inmate speaks when he's not a, if he's an expert on humanity. Hey Justine, maybe we should take the challenge ourselves. I just had the very same thought. Although it will thirst into ourselves in the ordeal, perhaps we would discover some answers. Yay, person! Um, that's rude. Huh. Hey, how can I help you? Uh, we're taking the big bang burger challenge. Uh, there's a minimum age requirement to be eligible for this challenge. I, I could interest in you in our little bang build instead. If it comes with a toy, do you want a cute little spaceship? A spaceship? Yes, a burger, a fries, and a juice for 500 yen. That'll be right up. We didn't ask for it. It's too late now. Let's just settle for that today. I admit, I'm intrigued by the diminutive spaceship. Yeah, because you're both children. <laughs> well, we didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. Mm -hmm. You seem much more excited by the toy than the taste, anyway. Sh shut up! <laughs> I saw you eating around those pickle things, or whatever they are, Justine. That, that wasn't food from this Earth. It was clearly a alien spawn of some sort. Okay, you two. What? Is this true? You're all idyllically. I see. Well, they taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. Well, at any rate. We've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. Oh, duh. Because the name is clickbait. Just like half of YouTube. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. All right. Maragi. Mabufu? Well, skill cards. Nice. Hard next time, we know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. Mhm. Mm I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. Yeah. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. Yeah. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Okay, I guess I will. I escorted the twins back to the Velvet Room as ordered. I mean, they're... I mean, they're technically little kids, so they don't tell me what the fuck to do. But, I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's whatever, I guess. Um, I think I might want to start a new confidant or, or something today in this episode, but I'm not sure yet. But I probably will. I think we got nothing else going on Tuesday. Prop. Yeah, I doubt it. Um. I'm hot. Are we there yet? It's hard to breathe in here. All right. For today's hot headlines, the calling card at Madarami's exhibit. The police are evaluating whether or not the threat was true or was a prank. A scam outbreak in Shibuya. Students are the primary victims. Organized crime is suspected here. Students are getting scammed? That's scary. You should be careful when you go in Shibuya. I mean, shit. I mean, dudes be trapping. Trying to get out of the trenches and shit, so. Hmm. What's this? A request to the student body. It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put it up. Huh? Please consult the student council president if you have any details. So we can go to her for anything? Why the student council president, though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? I mean, Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. I guess so. Even though Makoto's basically sussing us. Try 
tragic. <laughs> it seems like the most important, most of society is surprised what that artist did. <sighs> he was someone that who represented in Japan. They probably trust him based on his name alone. Indeed, very easily by very <coughs> indeed we are easily manipulated by these names. The road is filled with fake names. For instance, this creature, which one you know well. It's called the Red King Clab. It has a forearm of the clab that it should have. Well, look at this picture. Um Give it a try. The red the red <coughs> The Red King Club is Baju Gui. The Red King Club is Baju biologically related to the Hermit Crab. So how is it different from the from a crab? You, do you know? I believe it's the number of legs. This is it, right? <laughs> ah, that's it. Not bad. That's correct. The crabs crabs have five pairs of legs. The Red King Club only has four pairs. The direction is fold on fold in the reverse too. The face is typically forwarded. The red kings do not. <laughs> Yo, you really know that? No way, bruh! Huh, Mather Schoons are smart. Yada yada yeah. I didn't yeah, I knew the question. Can we move on? Freaking Christ. Incidentally, the tamale of a crab isn't the isn't the, uh, its brain, you know, some people say. It's actually the crab's liver in the panarchies. As you can see, the fool is full of deception. Dude, that kind of pays like an inflation LeBron. It's not often you see a real crab meat. Hmm. Why don't we get sushi on our next celebration? Okay. Maybe. Maybe. No promises though. Our name did spread a brain thanks to Monorama. I bet people still wouldn't care if we came out and said, You're the tenth of these. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I doubt anyone will believe us. But what could good. But what's good comes of telling people our identities? Maybe they'll at least try to s treating us with respect? I can understand why you feel that way. But fame ain't all that. But that's how you. But that's just how things are now. If you keep doing stuff like this, that will definitely change. We are simply need to devour ourselves to our cars. Our praise will come later. What he said. I'm sure when people will understand. Now I understand. Uh, now I guess we just gotta act like modest heroes for now. Well, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You move on, and I mean it's just like if a TikTok-related app becomes a thing in Persona Six, yeah, I probably won't be surprised if like if our next group of people would, you know. Do one their first mission and they will everybody will know about them right off the bat because of like TikTok or something. Or a TikTok related app, you know what I mean? President, what is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my Oh We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police. What should I do? Uh-oh. Is this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? Oh. Uh-oh. So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? Yeah, what should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us too. Uh huh. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Uh, no. No. Even though that part wasn't recorded, but no, he didn't. He didn't say shit. That no neck ass nigga, bro. I just want to fucking. I just want to make him into a fucking basketball, bro. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. Mm-hmm. Even though, do not stalk us, please. Hey. I'm sure we'll keep 
we'll keep this up if I'm getting more supporters. Alright, but first we need a new target. Hope we can find a good one. Alright. Huh. Hey, ask a new Ethel. Hey, our fifth request. Apparently there's a group of burglars terrorizing Shibuya. From what I've heard, is a they only target restaurants to break in the day after the close for the day. Someone's asking it if it works if these if it was working with the Phantom Thieves. Just reading that just pissed me off. Well, we can't let people bump you guys in with pe petty thieves. But we aren't we 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 aren't we the same? S seriously, you can't believe that. Anyway, I heard they've been running away and leaving with without a trace of evidence. I saw the information I have on them right now. Sorry. For now, I'll make posts on the fan sites and ask people to for more details. People might know. Mm. Ugh, man, being quite famous is really bringing this unique set of problems. But we don't really have any info, so we might just have to wait for Mishima to get a solid lead. Mm. Uh, it's raining. Uh, the weather might affect on mementos on its humans, too. I mean, we could go now. We could go now, but... Go to Big Bang Burger once again. I'm gonna take on the challenge without the twins. Go to Big Bang Burger. I'll be 24 hours a day. And there's no day or night in space. What can I get for you? I will take on the challenge. Oh, you like to take on the Big Big Bang Challenge, huh? Yeah. Alright, you might be able to get guilty to choose this challenge. <laughs> I think you can do it. As you are. Alright, the challenge will cost... 1500 yen. Okay. Alright, certainly. Now take a seat. Good luck. Alright, thank you for coming for the Big Bang Challenge once again. Since you're already currently third rank, mate, this will be your opponent. Alright, now it's trying to get to the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge. Ready? Go! Alright. Uh, this is a tough battle. Mm. Uh, it's so good, but it looks so big. Uh, somehow I ate the whole thing. Whoa. Yo, you did it! Let's go! Congratulations. Congratulations on completing this challenge. Since you managed to extinguish the comic burger, I preserved the second mint badge. Alright. And the burger brines you ever defeated this challenge we present to you. Our worst famous Big Bang Burger on the house. Hope you enjoyed the taste of victory. Yep, three Big Bang Burgers. That's what we need. A new challenge will await you now that you become second mate. I look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. Yep. I knew you, could do it. I, you took that comet burger down. You're so amenable. Taking it such a daunting task at a tenth level of that courage. <laughs> All right. And that should increase our guts. Nice. All right, your pace, your strategy, well-timed drinks, and the spectacular the way you devoured it. I mean, it's about drive, it's about power. Everything was perfect. And that's proficiency. Wait, knowledge. Okay. Wait, knowledge. Charm. Ooh, we're get oh, we got one point. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Proficiency. Want to head home? I'm just full from watching you. Yeah. Okay. This is the confidant I kind of wanted to start it already. Cause I feel like I forgot to start with him already. But. Hmm. All right. EY. <laughs> you just came at the right time. Your slight change of pants. That paper bag bag from the other days is all yours. You picked it up somewhere. Nothing to do with me. Understand? I didn't see it. I didn't touch it. I don't know about it. We're clear? Oh, thank you. Alright, if that's it, go home. You can go window shop somewhere else. Hey. Hmm. That modified gun we should be a powerful weapon to use during the palace battles. You should you should ask him about what's inside the bag. Don't free act freak out, just ask him. Hmm. Hmm. I could ask him if I got oh my oh, god. Hey. Why should we not? Oh my god. You looking to buy or not? 
Come again. Uh, no. What? I wanted to start you today, bro. Yeah, whatever. 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 Whatever, game. Whatever. Hmm. But, hmm. Apparently, there's a guy here. Everyone. Many of you suffer greatly from this distorted rule of this disparity. Please, you can take your criticism and outrage at me. I, Tsuzuki Yoshida, will someday find a way to address your concerns in Nachito. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? Uh, I'm just passing by. I see. So well then. Well then, you please excuse me. Okay. Okay. Yes, I am interested. Oh, are you a student? I'm delighted to be captivated by your interest by someone your age. Hmm. hmm. I could use this. I could use the help of a young person. I can't hire someone, especially without any experience. I'm sorry about that. However, I'll be happy to you stop by the speeches again. Well then, that's all for today. I'm heading to the beef bowl. Hmm. hmm. That. <clears throat> now, old man's speech was impressive. That kind of talk might be useful for negotiation in the metaverse. But he's looking. F but he's looking for someone with more experience. So you can show me your dedication. Wait. He say he's going to the beef bowl. He's. I bet he's talking about the one on Central Street. Hey, if you work part time at the beef bowl, you can show him. Okay. Okay, so we could probably work at. You could probably work there, but I'm gonna go to the bathhouse once again. The temperature is just right. Oh, it feels good. And it seems like you refreshed yourself. <laughs> I think you're even more handsome now. Yes, sir. You know, Joker got that drip as always. Wanna head back? All right. <clears throat> Come on, we should get home before you get cold. Or well, no, dog. Alright, I heard there's some form about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, I see them on TV, yada yada yada, it's still rise. Is that that detective? Man, the Phantom Thieves are cool. Kind of cool, I don't know. People are talking shit still, holy shit. <laughs> what do you think about that? Hey, that comic card that Monty Robbie sent you to do you think? I was wondering about that. Yeah, I think it was the one that was sent to Kamishita. Huh, people online saying the Phantom Thieves are behind this. Your cool. story a fan site with a bunch of requests posted on it. <laughs> I can't cool. believe there are real life superheroes. If it's happened twice, it's probably gonna happen again. I can't wait to see who's next. Alright. Alright, we got a couple fangirls, you know? Hey, I'll take it. Oh, yes. Huh, it sounds like people are going to that studio trip tomorrow. You guys get to see the show too. I want to be. I want to mind seeing that talk shows. Oh, I like. I like talk shows. A variety of shows. I wonder if they talk about the Phantom Thieves. And they'll cer They certainly get a plenty of attention on the TV and the internet. But I'm a little worried. What, what happened? Because the media it, people gets too riled up. That reminds me. Have you guys covered total what? And it's a government structure that unites people under one single ideology and authority to control. In theory. <laughs> In theory, it brings people together under one ideal and it definitely comes to with some logistical benefits. Although it means forcing ideals on people as on un the unwillingly. That's how wars get started. How about you? Alright, here's a question. Oh, uh, yes, Maruki. What kind of turnerism takes the step further than authority to raise them? Um, um, controlling public thought. This is it. Alright, I'm, I'm a spice you knew that. A Tartaranian government tries to control the culture, the morals, even the thoughts of its people. To minimize the sentence and try to assimilate everyone into one ideology. Even from reading the stream, I could tell 
a form of personal assimilation. You all, you, <coughs> you all do that too, right? I try, I try to, even though I'm not the greatest at it. It's not a bad skill to have, even it can help you survive in the modern world. But do it too, you can't do it too much. People make an e echo chamber, and then people whose opinions different might get hurt. He actually knew that. Oh my god, my boss no nice job. Okay, what a surprise. Oh, we're I I think we might get rank knowledge here soon. Another rank up. I'd like to remind you to keep all strong the sense of yourself and open mind. And so we can disagree and still live in harmony. I guess class is almost over. That's it for today. Hmm. Mm. I sense a strong sense of self, huh? We may need to make sure we don't lose the side we believe in. Mm-hmm. That's facts, by the way. Lunch time? Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Man, why y'all talking shit about... Why? Why are you talking about Shiho, bro? Come on, no. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I mean, that's what he gets for being a no-neck fat ass. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst. So that's what he's using Nijibes Senpai for? <laughs> Makoto? Oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it too. Uh oh. Nijima Senpai knew? Makoto knew? Uh oh. That's a bit sussy. Man, Makoto, why you have to be sus, man? What Speak of the devil. Of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. It was, ooh, ooh, ooh. bro. Is you dumb? Is you dumb, my guy? I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. It's like, what? And did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? It. it you didn't say shit about the Phantom Thieves. It's about that. It's about that scam and shit that goes on Shibu in Shibuya, bro. Tells along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. The scams. It appears there are students at Shujin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Uh huh. Now you feel stupid. Now you feel stupid. <laughs> a student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Mm hmm. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Yeah, now you feel stupid trying to fucking be sussy of us. Now you feel stupid. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. Can you forget about who you care about more, your students or the Phantom Thieves? But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Why though? Sir. Why though? Are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. No, it doesn't! My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. No, it's not, nigga. <laughs> if you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. No, uh, um, I beg to differ. No. We have nothing to do with it, bro. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? No, but you're putting this on her shoulders, bro. I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. My expectations of Don't bring Sai into this, bro. I hope you don't Why are you bringing Sai into this? You're bringing Sai into this, really? Come on now. 
Well, so what kind of person would be bigger a target than Manorame? Hmm. I wonder. I guess I have to talk to somebody who's talk of the town. And it's quite a face discreet. We don't have any more specific ideas. An evil overlord? Dude, this isn't some kind of video game. Either way, we'll need a lead before anything can begin. We just have to look as far as we can go. If only if the big target was lying around for us. I mean, that's kind of true, by the way. I mean, they ain't just gonna wait for us to do shit, so... Alright, that trip from the TV station is tomorrow, isn't it? Huh, maybe our next target will be a celebrity. But yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Persona 5 Royal. If you guys did enjoy this episode and want more Persona 5 Royal in the future, be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and the notifications on so you don't miss an uploading. Yeah, this is the boy to voice replacing. Peace out. Catch you guys later. Hey, positive, my friends. Peace!